Hi guys, I'm Mar, and today we're gonna be trying out Selena Gomez's latest cash grab. <laughs> I mean, what's that in my throat? I mean, her new makeup line. I'm actually totally kidding. I'm so happy for Selena. I went and purchased these rare beauty products myself. I went to Sephora and I stocked up on some products. I gotta support women because I'm all for that. And I was actually planning on taking a little bit of time off after my documentary launched. And if you guys haven't seen my documentary, go watch it after this video because that was a lot. I'm exhausted, but I just couldn't resist. I was like, I need to try these products. And I figured if I was gonna try them, I might as well film a little first in impressions slash wear test because I'm gonna wear them all day so let's just see how they perform but yeah let's jump right in because nobody got time for a 20 minute video and if you do then go watch the documentary so this is the foundation and I love this applicator because Selena made it this way so people could grab it with their hands no issue if they have like mobility problems and I love that she thought of that so getting a shade match at Sephora was a struggle girl I could not even touch the foundation and the girl that was helping me couldn't try it on me she had to try it on herself you have to swatch it on yourself Oh my god. I know, it's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so this is oh, that's a pretty good match. Wow, she was so nice. She was really trying to help me get the right match. But honestly, I feel kind of bad because I was doubting her. I was like, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do this. How are you supposed to match somebody else's foundation? on your skin not really sure how that's working but you know we gotta do what we can with these times this foundation is going on really smoothly i love that it's kind of like just disappearing onto my skin and it does say that it's a medium to full coverage but i don't feel like it is i feel like it's just a light medium coverage it says to only apply more if you feel like you really need it and honestly i am here for this the type of makeup that i like is really dewy and really soft i don't love to cake on my makeup so so Rare Beauty honestly seems to be a good match for me because from what I can just see the products, they seem to be for that consumer that likes makeup but not like, oh girl, you got a lot of makeup on. More like, oh, you look like, like cute, you know, it's subtle. I like this foundation a lot, actually. I zoomed you guys in so you can see, you can still kind of see my freckles and stuff, but it just looks a little bit smoother. And I'm gonna go in with the concealer. I got shade 200C. It's the same shade for your foundation and your concealer. This says it's undetectable cake-free formula, and I need that because um, the lines under my eyes, they don't play. This looks like it's a little bit lighter than the foundation, but it looks good for my concealer. So I'm just gonna work that in. That is going on really smoothly and pricing I thought is really good. The foundation is $29, which is the most expensive product and it's one ounce and comparing it to Fenty, which is $35 and it's also one ounce. I thought it was good. I don't have an issue with the price, honestly. Personally, I was pleasantly surprised. I thought the price was gonna be higher just because it's a celebrity line, but Selena was like, no girl, I got you. So this is supposed to be self-setting. I just don't know if I trust it like that. Girl, it looks good right now though. I'm like, mm. I don't know how buildable this is. I wouldn't call it full coverage. I would say light to medium. Before I decide if I should set that or not, I'm just gonna let it kind of do its thing. So I'm gonna do my eyes. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Amor Caliente palette. I still honestly can't believe this is a thing. It hasn't launched yet. So probably that's why it doesn't really feel real. It's launching September 3rd. 13th, but I'm gonna use this palette. I'm just gonna do my eyes off camera. So she's so pretty. I love her. I hope you can't tell I'm wearing two completely different lashes. I couldn't find their partner, so now they're together. I just used this side of the palette. I really wanted to wear chancla, but I just felt this look was not a chancla look. I want to keep it simple. And my under eye is a problem area for me. I am starting to see my fine lines just pop up and I want more coverage. I already put on three layers of this concealer, so it's not really doing what I wanted to. I'm gonna put another one and set it and hopefully that'll be where I want it to be because I love the foundation. I just want the concealer to give me a little bit more. And it does say it's buildable, so. Build, girl. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Okay, so definitely set the concealer. It makes it look so pretty. Wow. I love that. Now this is the product I was most excited for, the liquid blush. It's supposed to blend and build beautifully for a soft, healthy, Blush. I really wanted to try this shade Grateful, which is this red one, but the girl at Sephora suggested Happy, so I just got both. It says to apply with your fingertips, so I'm gonna do that. Ooh, this is red, red, like red. Ooh, girl. Ooh, we red. Ooh, I'm like, mm, I'm getting red cheeks. Maybe that's just a bit too much. <gasps> I think I overdid that. <gasps> I'm just like, oh god. <laughs> and it says to just blend that in. Oh wow. That might have been a bit much. And maybe it's a bit too high up. Oh, I think I did that wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like immediately regretting all my actions right now. Oh my 
No, it's not super easy to blend. I think I should have just done like two little taps. Oh, F mar. Okay, so it's blending, but it's not the easiest. I might have to start again. <laughs> Why? Why? What is this? No, it's up to my eyeball. Oh, I'm just, okay. No, no, no ma'am, no. So we're trying that again. I'm gonna try happy. I'm just gonna try just like a couple dots. Oh, there we go. Just have to work it really fast because it does dry down. But I feel like once this dries, it's not even gonna budge. This is a really pretty color. Oh, cause that's pigmented. I'm like, whoa. No, am I getting this wrong again? That looks beautiful. I feel like this is a product that you have to try and get the hang of it, but once you do, it'll be good. That looks really natural. Honestly, the only thing I'm confused about is them saying this foundation is for a full coverage because I don't think it is. And if you pair it with this blush, how is that supposed to be full coverage? I mean, you gotta like basically wipe it out. And when you're wiping, that's just not gonna work with a full coverage foundation. This is for sure for a dewy, really soft look, which I am living for. I love this. I am here rooting for natural makeup to make a comeback because that's just the makeup I like. Don't get me wrong, I love a full face, but not for every day. I love it for like a special occasion. That looks beautiful, that's so pretty. I might've brought it way too down here, but I always do that with my blush. I don't know, I have a tendency. I like like really rosy cheeks. Basically just slap yourself to get this thing on. So then we got the blot and glow to get rid of the excess glow. I'm not really oily, but since I didn't set, I get oily. This apparently has powder in it. It's a little bit heavy. Uh, and then you can just take your sheet out from here. Just tap away. Get rid of that oiliness. You don't want yourself looking like no empanada. I'm gonna test this out throughout the day and see if it actually helps. Cause right now I'm not that oily. I feel a bit of a difference, but mm, we'll see. And the last, I'm gonna go in with the lip souffle in Motivate. So this is supposed to be a matte, but hydrating. Mm, I love that. <gasps> oh, it's so soft. I love this. It's so soft. It's creamy. I'm not gonna make it too dark. Just one swipe. Mmm, that is pretty pigmented though. That's so pretty. I love this look. It's really natural. Okay, now let's go throughout our day and see how this goes. Let's see, Selena. <laughs> Never mind. I actually forgot the highlighter. Ooh, I love that it has this applicator too. And this is shade Enlighten. And it says it's supposed to create like this soft glow. So it's not supposed to be black. Ooh, but that's actually, that's a lot of glow. I like it. I could have done without the highlight, to be honest. But it's cute. All right, I just finished putting this makeup on. Now let's see how it performs. I'm gonna add, since I'm here. Whoop, why not? I feel like the highlight's the only product where it's like heavier than what I expected, but it's there. It's like less natural. I feel like all of our beauty is very natural. And then the highlight's just like a little bit more like, bam, we highlight it. <laughs> I love the way this foundation looks. It's so glowy. I am gonna set it. I'm gonna put on some Urban Decay All Nighter. I just feel it would be unfair to not set it at all because I usually do set foundation. So here we go. So this lip doesn't really claim to be long lasting, but I think it's not really gonna last long. But I do love that it's moisturizing because I have really, really dry lips. We're on our way to get some tea. My lip has not been holding up well at all. I've only had it for maybe an hour and a half, but I love the foundation. I think it looks really good and glowy, and I love how you can still see my freckles and stuff like that. I like it. Putting on my mask. Let's see how this holds up against the mask. By the way, masks and hoop earrings, not a good match. All right, taking off my mask. Oh, oh, look at that. I thought there was gonna be a lot of product on the mask, but there's really not a lot. I only had it on for like maybe 10 minutes though, maybe 15 minutes. Mm, looking good. I'm looking glowy. <laughs> Let's give one of these little sheets a try. And this powder puff, I feel like I've been oily, but just kind of glowish. Oh, full matte now. Oil, be gone. You know what else is gone? My lip color. It only lasted for maybe two hours tops. Ooh. Oh, I can see the powder. Dinner? Mm-mm. Burrito, you like my makeup? Make! <laughs> Burrito, you, you like my makeup? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, no. All right, it's getting late, so my lashes are about to come off. All right, you guys, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm actually really happy. I like this makeup and it's done really well. It's looked really glowy. It didn't stick on my mask. Good job, Selena. Anything for Selena. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Bye.